Get our way into the lovely Mile High Sports Studios. What was your favorite moment from the Nuggets championship run? Um, the confetti falling down on the players and on us. Uh, game four against the Lakers. Um, Nikola Jokic's best game. There are those who say that it's game one of that series, but uh, they would be wrong. Uh, it is game four. We have some confetti over here in one of the um, little things we have. Game four was uh, the most dominant I ever, I've ever seen someone do it so casually against the backdrop of LeBron James scoring 40 points. That, that was the peak Jokic. You know, Jokic, uh, fadeaway kind of three, uh, Anthony Davis in his eyeball to end the third quarter was one of those like, this is gonna happen kind of nail biters. What's your favorite moment from the Nuggets championship run? Um, hold on, let me oh, yeah. Try. Favorite moments from the Nuggets championship run. I got to say the Bruce Brown takeover in game four of the finals, especially that last he hit three he hit and Jokic just slapping the towel on the hardwood. That was everything, man. That was my favorite moment. I was looking for a broom though when I came in here. No brooms. No brooms in here? Nah, we need a broom at the Mile High Sports Studio. My favorite moment was when they swept them Lakers out of the out of the whole playoffs, man. And they'll do it again tonight, too. All right, here we are, Ball Arena, ahead of game one of the Denver Nuggets season. It's ring ceremony night. There it is, the House of Champions. Denver Nuggets last year, Colorado Avalanche the year prior in the NHL. Should be a fun night. Let's go meet up with Ryan and Swipa. Uh, the first ever NBA championship banner going up tonight in Ball Arena. Should be a special night. Follow along at Mile High Sports for content all season long. The men in the flesh, Ryan Blackburn and Swipe. Oh, what up? What's up, bro? Game day. Game day, first time in a long time. It's going to be fun, dude. Let me see that mustache real quick, Mr. Oh, Blackburn. Man. That thing is, woo! <laughs> Look at that. How are we feeling, Swipe? I'm good, bro. Season opener. Banner night, championship night. It's going to be great. I'm excited. Can't wait. All right, what's your favorite moment from the Nuggets championship run? You know, it's got to be game four for me personally. Like, the game four against the Lakers was, was probably the favorite moment. Although, a close second is Jamal Murray hitting that game winner in Portland. I was there for that one. That was sick. I mean, it was easily just the fact that they did it. You know, I think going 16 and four, the way that they did it, going through the Minnesota Timberwolves, Phoenix Suns, Lakers, and then the Heat. I think everything surrounding the narrative of the run that they couldn't get it done, leading into it in the dominant fashion that they did it. I think from Jokic to Murray to Porter to Gordon and to the rest of the roster, everybody proved something. Malone even solidified himself as one of the longest tenure coaches and also had a ring attached to it. So I think it's just everybody did what they were supposed to do. And now it's about doing it again. So the banner's going up there. Zoom in on what we got up there already. Northwest Division Champions, Western Conference Champions up there. A little blank space. Of course, all the other banners that have already been up there. But uh, that banner will be raised tonight and will hang there for as long as this arena's around. It'll be a good night. The content game, all the guys on their phones. This is what we do. Hold on, let me, let me zoom in one more time.
I get that right. Jason of Beverly Hills want to thank them for coming through with some really nice hardware. Uh, and then at that point, you know, I was like, let's get this game going. And I was also thinking about my father mm. and uh, you know, just wish he was here. So a lot of emotions tonight, but uh, all really positive. And to end it with the win is just uh, it's a great way to start the season off. You mentioned turning the page. What does that look like in, in the coming days? What does that look like as you kind of get away from ring night a little bit and kind of move forward with that. Yeah, I mean, once that banner went up, and that kind of capped off last year. So all that, that's over, man. That's in the past. Uh, so what this looks like is tomorrow we'll bring our guys in, we'll watch film from tonight's game, uh, reinforce the positive, and have plenty of teaching clips where we can and will be better. Um, make sure we're getting our player development in, our lifts, our treatments, and then we'll get back at practice probably on uh, Thursday, I believe that will be Ryan. Get a good practice in, get on that plane, head to Memphis, and uh, you know, start a two-game road trip. So our, our schedule early in the year is pretty tough in terms of three and four nights 
I think we're getting ready to play six and nine nights. So we've got to be really careful with how much we're asking of our guys. But um, even after a win, I think it's most, uh, the best time to learn and show clips. Uh, it was a good win, but you know, we can be better in so many different areas. Obviously, he's my security blanket. I'm a very insecure person, so when I start to feel that way, I get Nicole out there and I feel better about myself. And I'm sure all of our fans feel the same way. Uh, but they just had a possession too right in front of us where they, they were kicking up on the glass. And uh, Nicola, as we know, is one of the elite rebounders in the NBA. So I just wanted to get our horse back in there, play through him, make sure we're cleaning the glass. And, uh, you know, but again, I, I thought Reggie off the bench did a really nice job for us. Uh, Christian did a really good job. Uh, I wanted to get, you know, the one guy that did not play tonight that I was hoping to get in the game was Julian. I think he had a, an outstanding preseason. And as I told him late in the game, um, he is a part of our future. I mean, he's shown me so many things. I know he didn't play tonight, but that's a, a blessing and a curse. You have such a deep, talented team, but you can't play everybody every night. Uh, but Julian's going to be out there at some point. No did, you, did you do a DPOG chain, or are you doing that this year? We are. We, should we stop? No. <laughs> yeah. Got it. No, we, uh, yes, we did. We gave it to Contavious Caldwell Pope. I thought his defensive impact could have given it to Nicola or Aaron, but I thought KCP was just uh, very, very disruptive on that end of the floor. Great hands, and uh, he, he, gave, he gave us a high, high effort on both ends of the floor. Jamal, when you talk Sunday, it's going to be ready. Not worry about the ring ceremony, but get to the season. So it was like the perfect amount of the celebration, all of that, and then jumping right into the game and getting that win? Yeah, um, the ring ceremony was a lot better than I thought it would be. So um, they did a great job. Um, fans were into it. It was nice to uh, you know, have a moment there and then um, get right back to work. I thought we took that energy, that confidence, um, and went right into the game with it. So. Today was a great example. We played as a team. Ball was hopping. Ball was moving. Guys in the right spot. And um, you know, it wasn't even a lot of whole lot of one on one here. We were just playing uh, scooped offense out there, trying to you know get our timing down and all that. So I think we did a good job. What's it like flipping a switch from a ring ceremony then to playing your first game? Um, I don't know. I'm not. You know, I try to stay calm, cool, and collected out there. Um, like I said, just trying to take that energy, that confidence. Um, the realization of what we did into the, into the game. Um, it was not too long ago, so wasn't uh, wasn't oh, I wouldn't overthink it like that. But like I said, just trying to find those moments in the game where we can stay consistent. Um, I think we had a good job in, in the fourth. In the fourth, we did a good job. Um, you know, just mixing up our variety in our offense, riding our plays, everybody touching the ball, and like I said, those are the moments that we're trying to emulate um, over the course of the season. <laughs> <laughs> Joker, I guess just to go back to the beginning of the game, what were what were you thinking when you see the banner go up and you, know, you guys are all, all around? What do you it think? was amazing for me. To be honest, I miss I miss the guys who are not with us anymore. But uh, it was just uh, probably it can happen once and once in their lifetime. So um, we as a group, as a collective group, we went as a, as a we went. Maybe gonna remember one time in the history or whatever. So we're gonna be remembered as a champion. So I think it's a really nice moment in life. That's the model part on the small fit. That's the really cool Nicole. Control what I can see is we're sure that it's a desk and that's minus going up and see that. Sometimes on ring night it's so emotional that the home team maybe after a good first quarter like we had, they just just lose the emotion. How are you guys able to avoid that? I'm just answer that. Uh, <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> uh, like I said, I think that, that the ceremony kind of brought us more energy, more. Uh, we had we had a really good vibe playing vibe playing uh, in the first quarter. Uh, I think we controlled the game the whole the whole time. Um, at the end, uh, we kind of lost it a little bit uh, in, four, in the fourth quarter. I think they we. The um, smallest lead was four points or two points, whatever. Uh, and from that moment, we, we really we would step up again and uh, make, make plays to win the game. Nicole, because you got out of town so quick and then got back out right in the basketball, you started to feel the love from Nuggets fans and certainly the, the crowd tonight? I mean, to be honest, you know, on the video, like the people, uh, reaction in their homes and uh, just um, I think it's amazing to, to see how many lives being impacted uh, just playing basketball you know the happiness and, uh, and, and the joy of the uh, of play, uh, people who are just supporting us you know 
it's a, it's a really amazing uh, sensation. What are you gonna do with your ring? I'm gonna put it in the the tall door, harder trophies. One, so that was pretty cool. My, my teammates, you take it off. I don't know how you do it, but there's a second ring somewhere in here. No, break it off. How do you probably don't have this? How do you break this into the second ring? Oh. oh. Yeah, so you can break it off, and then there's a second ring that goes inside, maybe. So there's a second ring. So this is pretty cool. You've seen some rings before. How does this one compare? Two. Nugget? My oh, turn. Oh, is he, are you going see first? This, okay. You're going to see this energy? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Golly. Show some respect. No, I'm not. I'm letting you go first now. All right, what's going on, y'all? My <laughs> high sports here. This is your boy Swiper. Ryan. Yo, we just got done watching the Denver Nuggets 119 to 107 victory over the Los Angeles Lakers. And I got a couple takeaways, but you know what? Ryan, what was your takeaway from the game? Oh, well, thank you for asking. I think my takeaway is that the starters kick ass. Like, this is an amazing starting group. And the most important thing that the Nuggets have going for this them this season is that the starters are back and the starters look better than ever. Right. What about you, Swipe? Look, first off, Nikola Jokic, best player in the world. 29, 13, and 11. Dominated. Even played really good defense in the second half. Anthony Davis was zero points in the second half. Also, by the way, Jamal Murray, 21, six assists, two rebounds, 75% true shooting on the night. Really, really good game, only one turnover. And guess what? Michael Porter Jr. didn't shoot the ball well, but MPJ, two way MPJ, like he did in the finals, played really good defense, rebounded at a high level today. And Aaron Gordon, KCP had a phenomenal game. 20 points as well. 20 points for KCP. Michael Malone gave a, a big shout out to Michael Porter, but KCP got the DPOG chain tonight. And most important thing for this group is that, like I said, they're bringing back the best talent that you could possibly ask for. Bench guys, still trying to figure it out. Reggie Jackson, first guy off the bench. What do you think of that decision by Malone? Look, you know what's funny is Reggie Jackson is a veteran. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to play. He actually had a pretty good game today. But look, I'm going to tell you, that Jamal Murray stagger, with Zeke Naji, Peyton Watson, and Christian Brown, and then when they had Reggie in it, they actually had a really, really good stint yeah. in the second quarter. And guess what? The person I told y'all was going to do it. <laughs> the man I said could be an all-NBA defender. Like I told you, Peyton Watson, six foot eight wing, with great defensive tenacity today, and he made a three off the move. That's a dude you can rely on and guarantee game 81, game 82, Peyton Watson, completely different player. Julian, Julian Strother is going to play soon. He didn't play tonight, but Michael Malone is very happy. He's very excited about what this happened. What happened tonight? Who's your daddy? We got to say, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Uh, I mean, I, I can't. <laughs> Look, all I know is that whenever they play, there we go. We done. We done. We all right, so wrap. 119-107, Denver Nuggets 1-0. These are the guys you want to hear from, but a good night as a whole. Big takeaway for the night, Ryan Blackburn, we'll start with you. A uh, big takeaway for the night is that the Nuggets have, like, they haven't fully turned the page, but they're in a really great place for this upcoming season. This is an awesome team. Swipe up. Uh, best player in the world, most con. I think the, the continuity, I think the cohesiveness, the competitiveness of that team, this is a different level. Like, they were just able to turn it up on the Lakers, as they did in the playoffs four different times, but people didn't believe them, apparently, so they did it again. And now, if you listen to Lakers fans, they're saying, well, we need to do more pick and roll and this, 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 and this. Well, guess what? I think this is the thing about the Nuggets. If you do it, they have an answer. Because they have the best player, they got the best team, they got the best coaching, and I just think it's just all together, man. So... What Shout they, out to them. What they really need to do is put Nicole in more pick and rolls. Right. That, that'll solve the problem. Attack him as much as you want, apparently. You can score whenever. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wasn't Anthony Davis 0-6 in the second half or something like that? I, I, okay, all right. <laughs> what a night. My big takeaway, Jokic is still that guy, best player in the world, and this team's playing for keeps. Repeat there, I say. Mile High Sports signing off. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, check us out on social at Mile High Sports. Adios.